Marchers took to the streets of Hillsville today to protest President Donald Trump's stance on immigration. Protesters with the March for Humanity say they want immigrants to feel welcome, even in a community like theirs that voted heavily for Donald Trump this past November. WSLS 10's Rob Manch was with them today. Now, Rob, what was the inspiration for this march? Well, organizer Samantha Castor tells me the idea for the march was born in her living room as she watched the commotion the executive order was causing at airports around the country. She says she wanted to find a way to speak out, and it turned out dozens of others wanted to join her. The march began Sunday in front of the Carroll County Government Building, addressing all in English and Spanish. We come from a diverse uh, background. Uh, nuestras raíces están diversas, but they're here, están aquí. They're, they're our neighbors. The idea for the march came last month from Samantha Castor, seeing the chaos at airports around the country. I was trying to decide, you know, what can we do? And Augustina kind of looked at me and said, let's just do it ourselves. We reached out and I guess we touched the hearts of people who, you know, don't think it's okay what's been happening and want to be part of it and want to, you know, show that we're going to stand united and stick up for our other Americans. Within days, the two had dozens of people supporting them, but they learned it might be difficult to pull off. We would need to go in front of the town council and there was the possibility that they wouldn't agree with the message. But Castor says a town official helped them find a workaround. Went through multiple channels to make sure that we were cleared to use the sidewalks in town and that if we needed support with traffic or crossing streets or anything like that, we would have it um, without having to go through the actual legalities of getting permits and things like that. The march led down North Main Street but was quickly met with resistance. I spoke with one of the men protesting the march. So many of these people don't understand the word of illegal. I don't think that he is trying, I don't think they've ever been a citizen thrown out of this country. I think it's the illegal people that is not, uh, not right and not paying taxes and get away with stuff and go back to their country, send money back to their country. Castor had a response to that statement. People were being detained who were, you know, legal residents of this country or were coming here legally to live in our country, refugees, students, professors. According to various news outlets, many people were in fact detained who were legal U.S. residents shortly after the order was passed, as well as refugees who had been previously vetted. The march organizers say to those immigrants still hoping to make it to America, many Hillsville residents will welcome them. Even though this is a heavily conservative area that there's still people who will love you and welcome you and are proud to have you here. Well, this was the first march that Castor and Angelina Silva, you just heard from there, have organized, but they're hoping it will create momentum for more events in the future. In studio, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.